Hello, it's me, Ian, and this is Help My Supply Teacher Is Magic. We've fooled hundreds of you guys by swapping regular teachers with magicians. And we've been secretly filming the results with special cameras which we've hidden in the classrooms. Oh yes, we are smarter than a shop full of smartphones. And it's not just about the magic teachers. We've also got loads of other great magic coming up as well. Uh, but what's this I've got in my hat? <laughs> He was here a minute ago. Um, you have a look at this. Has anyone seen Fluffy? James is going undercover to cause mayhem in this class of year threes. Look, there's liquid pumping out of his arm. But will the class be pumped with excitement? We're going to teach you a magic trick so you can fool your friends. Grab a bowl and a drinks carton like this, half full of your favourite drink, so you can join it. Plus, you've been sending in clips of all your best magic tricks, and later on, I'll be picking my five favourites. Will you be one of my wannabe wizards? Could you spot a magician pretending to be a supply teacher? Could you? Really? This is James. He's a man of mystery and can make things disappear and reappear. Even his hair. He's gone undercover as a supply teacher. The hidden cameras are set. Is it your school? Is it your class? Let's find out. These year three pupils think they're coming in for a regular lesson, but they're wrong. James is highly irregular. The classroom's rigged with hidden cameras and James is about to do a totally pumping trick using green glue. And they have no idea. <laughs> Good afternoon, class. Now, we have a very fun science experiment to try this afternoon. So, how many people like science? Science is obviously very popular in this school. Experiment we're going to try this afternoon uses a principle called osmosis. Now, that's a really complicated word that means how a substance can be absorbed from one material to another. So, a bit like a sponge. Osmosis yeah. is real, but what happens is not real. It's magic. Can't wait. Now, in order for this experiment to work, we're going to need a helper. Uh, who would like to help me? Uh, how about Richard? Do you want to come up, Richard? And if you want to stand just here for me, that'd uh, be great. Rich is about to become part of an amazing magic trick. Perfect. OK, so in Richard's body, just like all of us, he has veins and arteries which carry a liquid, in this case blood, to all the organs in his body and keeps him alive. Now, not a lot of people know that there's a vein or an artery that runs from the tip of his left hand ring finger all the way up his arm into his heart. Did you know that? Yes. You didn't know that? And then there's another one that runs from his heart all the way down his other arm into his right hand ring finger. The class totally believe Mysterious James is a teacher. Now, what we're going to try and do is send a liquid all the way through Richard from one hand to another using osmosis. What? That's ridiculous. Surely it's impossible. I have to see this. I've got that liquid here. Nice thick green liquid so you can see it. Ugh, that looks like milkshake. Last year's milkshake. And pinch the top of the straw like that. Good, excellent. Now, in order to make that liquid go up the straw and into his finger and all the way through, we're going to have to make a pump to suck the liquid up. So, Richard, with your other arm, your right arm, if you can hold it up straight like this, and I want you to start a pump in action like this really fast, really fast, really fast. It's Good. time to Excellent. pump up the keep magic. Going, keep going, keep going. And you can see, look, the liquid is being... Watch, he's making the gloopy liquid disappear up his arm. Look at that. OK, Richard, now lift your left arm up in the air. All the way up. Excellent. And give it a little shake, because we've got all that liquid to run down using gravity into his shoulder. And then with this arm, I want you to reach down and give it a little shake. Give that a little shake. Give that a little shake. OK, and then clench your fist really tight, really tight. We don't want any of that water to come out. You can put this one down. Now, hopefully, if that's worked, if you put your hand in the funnel, right the way in the funnel, that's great. And then with your other arm, create that pump again. You're going to have to work really hard this time. And it's just working its way through. Just working its way through. And there we go. Now the grip's coming out of his other arm. <laughs> it's gone all the way through his body, all the way out of his other arm. Look at that. Oh, wait. Oh, look. It's stopping. It's stopping. It's stopping. Go faster. Go faster. Go faster. 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 And there's more of that green goodness. All this is unreal. I think, I think that's about all of it. Well done, Richard. You did very well at that experiment. Wonderful. And you can go and sit back down, Hedwig. 
Rich has become a human funnel, but it's time for James to spill the juice. I'm not really a teacher. I'm a magician. And not only that, if you see the silver boxes just in here and at the back and there, you are all being filmed for a new CBBC show called Help, My Supply Teacher is Magic. He did it! James's brilliant human funnel trick has totally filled the class. It was so scary because it was like it was like some magic goo. First, James made the liquid look like it was being absorbed through Richard's fingers. It's just so incredible how the liquid can go up the arch. Then he made it pour out of Richard's other hand back into the class. There was like jelly coming out of his hand. Um, it was very cool. James pulled it off. The class had no idea he was a magician. Would you realise your supply teacher was magic? Later on, Catherine will also be going undercover as a supply teacher. Grandma Mills is very old measuring bowls. She'll make this class's jaws drop to the floor. Wow, look at all that milk. Is this your class? Oh, look at that, there's plenty of milk in there. I have one of my grandmother's old bowls here. Let's see if I can magic up a lot more milk. Give a little shake. And as you can see, the milk has doubled. Can we get a new bowl, please? This is John. He's going to teach you the secret behind the trick you can use on your mates to blow their minds. If you fancy yourself as a magician, here's a trick you can try on your mates. You need a bowl and an old drinks carton like this with three holes in it and it needs to be half full of your favourite drink. John likes orange squash. Who can blame him? If you haven't got them already, go and get them now. Go on, quick, hurry. In the meantime, John will wait here for you. You back? Good. Do you know how to fill the carton with liquid and then, as it comes out of the holes, not the streams of liquid together like this? Can you work it out? I thought not. Get not. Get smart. Keep watching and you'll find out later in the show. Right now, though, Handy Fergus is about to do something amazing in the Air Museum with a trick that you'll never be able to work out. Boys, I've got three 2p coins. Okay. Yep. This is Alex and Jake. They have no idea that they're about to star in their own magic okay. show. I'd like you to take them and just have a look at them. Make sure they're normal. One of you will have to take two. Just make sure they don't bend or they don't fold or there's not another coin inside them. And then tell me when you're happy. Yeah, I'd like to place them back on my hand one at a time. So that's one, two, three. Good. So how many coins? Three. 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 They're going to travel one at a time from this hand over to that hand. That's now Whoa. two here. Whoa, how did that happen? I'm going to watch that more closely this time. But I don't want this one to be lonely. No, yeah. I'm going to get one more to join this first one. Watch, ready? That's now two here. Whoa! The coins change hands That's without the hands right touching. Here. That's incredible stuff. I'd like you to keep your eye on the last coin, OK? Because that's going to jump over and join these two. Three Whoa. coins. Whoa! That's, that's amazing. Epic. That's just amazing. amazing. I love it, and so did they. That is just... That's just awesome. That was amazing. Probably the best thing I've ever seen. Yeah. It was amazing. just so Traveled good. I'm going to get one more to join this first one. Watch, ready? Just how it travelled across in midair. Suddenly, he didn't see it, and then he just had two yeah. and one. It was awesome, cos yeah. you just can't work out how he did it. Yeah. It's just epic, you know? You've got another great magic trick that will leave members of the public saying, that was awesome, coming up. But right now, we have something amazing for you. This is the interactive illusion. This is a trick that you can take part in at home. So come on, get close up to this screen. Yep. Not that close, you'll get nose marks on the telly. Here to talk you through the magic is James. 
Now, I have a trick for all you people at home. It's a card trick, but don't worry, you don't need any cards. I've got them here. I want you to think of any one of these cards, anyone you want, think of it now. Keep thinking of your card. I'm going to mix them all up. Great. I think I know which card you were thinking of, so I'm just going to take it away. If I was right, the card that you were thinking of has now gone. That is amazing. Did it work for you? Whoa, my card wasn't there. Every week, we are bringing you the top five chart of new magicians on the block. I've got my laptop and I've got my bowl of dried fruit because sometimes Ian Sterling enjoys a healthy option. Hit it. We asked you to send in clips of yourself performing your best magic tricks. We received loads of clips from all over the country. Each week, I will be choosing my five favourite wannabe wizards and showing them to you guys. Number five this time is Tommy from Guildford. Watch his hands, he's going to make this card disappear. It's not just one card he can do. Oh, no, he can do four. Oh, yeah. Check out his moonwalk on the landing while he makes this card disappear and then reappear. Very arty. Let's get a rewind. Great moves, looking good. I love this trick that much. But not as much as this trick by Nathan from Douglas. Very useful guy. The big and shiny as it's good. I'm sure you'll agree that is a very big shiny die. Of course. I like this guy to be shiny. I keep it in this box. Dust. Good idea, Nathan. Nothing worse than a dusty die. Do you reckon I can push this tube straight through this die? Well, in theory, no, you can't. So. No matter. I'm going to try it anyway. So let's see. Hold your breath. He's Eight, going in. Two. One. Oh, uh -oh the what? die's disappeared. Or has it? Seems to have shrunk my die to... A cylinder. Thank you. No, thank you, Nathan. That trick was to die for. But here's an even better card trick. It's Phoebe from Leeds. Like Nathan, she has a box which is magic. Let's pick a card. She's also got a friend to help her. Hey, look at it. Really He's picked the three of clubs. Remember that card? I'm going to put it on there. Towards you. Let's give it a Phoebe has shuffled the three of clubs back into the pack. So now I'm going to find your card. Right. But people usually have assistants, like a woman or some type of man. I've got a box. Her um, unusual assistant is a box, but it's a box of tricks. Watch this. Ta da! Amazing! It produced the three of clubs. Nice work, Phoebe. At two, James from Chelmsford hasn't got a magic box, but he has got an empty brown paper bag. If the bag's empty, why are you reaching into it? How did that get in there? And what is it? Now, that bag is definitely empty, right? Click of the fingers. You're thinking he can't do it again, aren't you? Whoa, it's another one of those things. Have a good look this time. The bag is completely empty, isn't it? He clicks his fingers again. Guess what's coming out this time? Yeah, it's another one of those box, box things. And it's pink this time. Impressive enough, how do you get all those into the bag? But the best is yet to come. You're going to love this. So there's nothing in his hands and there's nothing in the bag. But hang on, what's this? It's a giant drinking straw. How on earth did that get into the tiny bag? And where did the ceiling from his lounge go? Seemingly impossible, definitely amazing. Who's my favourite though? I'm not gonna tell you yet. Not before I put on my funny chart show voice. At five, it's Tommy and his moonwalk card trick. Nathan was shining with his die trick at four. Phoebe's box of tricks got her to three. 
James bagged the number two spot. But out of the tons of wannabe wizards, my top one this time was... Jamie from Epsom. And he's got a little help from his little brother. You know the cars, don't you? Yeah. I'm going to get you to think of anyone you like, apart from these two. Those two cards are both jacks. And I need you to hold these. Just put your hand on the table like that and thumb up. And clip those with the thumb. This and trick will deserve a big thumbs up, so keep watching. And over. That's it. Now, have you got a card in mind? Yes. You can say it to me. Four of diamonds. The four of diamonds is now invisible. I'm going to find it. I can see it. I've got the special glasses. Remember that the Four of Diamonds is now invisible and Jamie has special glasses. Honestly. Right here, look. On the table. Can you see it? No, yeah. It's invisible, see? I mean, you can't see. You get the idea. Spades, the Queen of Diamonds, uh, Five of Spades. Could have said any of them. You said the Four of Diamonds. Would you mind taking off your hand? You see, there's one card in the middle of the jacks, face down. We started off with the Jack of Diamonds, Jack of Clubs and one card. You said the Four of Diamonds. This card is the... Yes, indeed, it's the Four of Diamonds. Unbelievable, Jamie. You're a diamond. Can't wait until next time for more Wannabe Wizards. Now it's time for some Ian Sterling magic. I'm going to turn around and instantly customise the colour of my jumper to bright pink using nothing but magic. On the count of three, here we go. One, two. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, Mum. No, it's not washable paint. Yes, they know not to try it at home. Look, I'm having some technical problems. You just see what's coming up. Have you worked out the secret to John's challenge? If you haven't already got a bowl, an old drinks carton like this, half filled with your favourite drink, go and get them now. Go on, hurry. And watch what happens when Catherine goes undercover in another school. We get something delicious. Could it be your class? Could your supply teacher be magic? In Undercover Magic, we hide cameras in all sorts of places. Our magicians play tricks on members of the public who don't know they're being filmed. Fergus is in this cafe to play a trick on Josephine. She's been set up by her mum. She has no idea what's about to happen. Fergus is playing with a Rubik's Cube and seemingly minding his own business. He's going to do some magic with the cube, so keep your eyes on it. Excuse me, sorry. Have you ever done one of these? Yeah, but I'm not good at it. Are you not good, so you can't give me any tips? I'm really struggling. Every time I mix it up more, it just gets, well, obviously, more and more mixed. The magic's about to happen, and it's going to be great. I did see a guy, actually, now that I think about it, once. And he, he did it really quick. He literally, he just took the cube, shook it, and then the whole thing was done. Whoa! But um, I can't do it. The only puzzle is how did he do it? Unbelievable. Do you know, I can do that. <laughs> and he just flicked it and it went in his place. A quick flick of the wrist and boom, the puzzle's solved. I'm really surprised how he's done it. I've never seen the magic like that before. It's the moment you've been waiting for, a chance for you to learn how to fool your friends. Me and John challenged you to fill a carton with your favourite drink. Put three holes in it, and then as the drink comes out of the holes, tie it in a knot. Come on, have you worked it out? How many have you got it? Maybe you think it's a bit of string. No. What about freezing the liquid? No way. Is it a camera trick? Uh -uh. Come on. You place your finger over all three holes. When you take your finger away, the streams of liquid, in this case orange squash, look like they've tied together. Did you get it? Are you amazing already? Now you've all got something to show off with in the playground. And now Fergus is about to show off another one of his tricks in the air museum. I'd like to show you something with a bottle and a cap. This is Alex and Jake again. They're about to start another magic trick. Watch carefully. Okay. Now you've seen these two items before, right? Yeah. 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 What I want you to do is to keep your eye on the bottom of the bottle. Yeah. And you to keep your eye on the cap. Something very special is going to happen 
on the count of three. One, two. Whoa, three, where did they go? I can hear it in the bottle. I've got to see that again. Let's get a rewind. One, two, three. The bottle is solid, and that was some solid gold magic. It's gone right inside the bottle. See, they can't get the cap out. Doesn't matter how hard they try. I don't know how he did it, because the bottle was hard at the end, and it just went straight through. I mean, I really don't know how he did it, because it's just amazing. Great, can you... It's just brilliant. Fergus has a lot of bottle. Awesome trick. Watch me now as I put this cap through the bottom of this bottle. Pretty impressive. Can't get the cap off. Um, we're going to need another bottle. OK, now it's time for our magician, Catherine, to fool another unsuspecting class. She's at another school. She's going undercover as a supply teacher to do an incredible trick. Is it your school? Is it your class? And will the class realise that their supply teacher is magic? Here's a class of year fours. They don't know it yet, but Catherine's about to give them a cooking lesson where the main ingredient is magic. But will they be eating out of her hands? None of the class suspect there are cameras hidden in their classroom or realise that Catherine's not a real teacher. But can she keep it up? Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to be showing you all how to make banana crispy cakes. That got their attention. It's really, really fun. So, I've got my baking tin, my mixing bowls, my spoon. No magic wand. And I wouldn't be without these. These are my grandmother's. Grandma Mills's very special, very old measuring bowls. I'm going to show you them a little bit later. So the first thing we need when we're making banana crispy cakes is the crispy bits. So for that, we need some cereal. I wonder if Grandma Mills is magic too. Now you can use any cereal that you like. So we've got the cereal here, and I'm just going to pour it into one of Grandma Mills's measuring bowls. There we go. It's perfect. So there we go. We've got 350 grams of cereal there. But actually, there's a lot of you in this classroom, isn't there? This isn't going to go around everybody. Should have bought a family pack, Catherine. I think we're probably going to need double the amount of this. Um, I know what to do. This is what my grandmother taught me. What I have to do is take the other measuring bowl. What's she doing now? Pop it on top and give the cereal a good shake, like this. And we should get, look at that, loads more cereal. The maze is multiplying. How is that happening? There, double the amount, so that should be plenty for everybody. We'll get rid of all of that in there, and we'll empty them all out. They're excited. I can hear their stomachs okay, rumbling so from here. The next thing we need when we're making banana crispy cakes is bananas. So I've got my banana here. Mmm. So, just put all the banana in there like that, and then just give it a good mix-up. Wow, that's really starting to come together now, isn't it? Do you think it looks a little bit dry, though? That cereal's like the Sahara, you know, dry. What kind of liquid could we put in a cake mixture? Yes. Milk, that's a great idea, milk. But I didn't bring any milk with me, unfortunately. No milk, um, no crispy cakes, unless Catherine's got something up her rolled up sleeves. I know. I remember what my grandmother used to do. If I shake her measuring bowls, like that. Can you hear that? It's building up. This magic's going to shake up the whole class. Watch this. Something amazing is about to happen. Look at that. Wow, look at all that milk. Where did that milk come from? Who said cow? I know it's from a cow. I mean, she didn't have any milk. That's amazing. Let's put all of that in. Like that. This class can't believe it. Good mix up. That looks good, doesn't it? It looks terrible, Catherine, but it does have milk in it. I'll give you that. So all we have to do now is bake it. So I've got my baking tin here. Now, I'll give you one guess. Who do you think this baking tin belongs to? Yes. 
Your grandmother Mills. Grandma Mills, very good, absolutely. Good old Grandma Mills. She'll be proud. So if we put all the ingredients and the mixture... Still doesn't okay. look particularly appetising, but Catherine's only appetising yeah. them. And then all we need to do is put the lid on. And just like my grandma used to show me, I just have to shake up the tin now and give it a good old shake. Catherine's shaking with Shazam there. And we get oh. some delicious... We've got banana crispy cake. Whoa, those actually do look good. I want one. Wonder if she could teach me. My cooking skills could do with a shake-up. The class have swallowed Catherine's story, but it's time to get to the crunch and tell them our magical secret. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I'm not a teacher. I'm a magician. And this wasn't really just a cooking lesson, this was a magic trick. And right now, you're all being filmed to be on a new CBBC TV show called Help My Supply Teacher's Magic. There's a camera over there, and over there, and over there. She did it! Catherine's brilliant trick has totally filled the class. First, she doubled the amount of crispies using her magical measuring bowls. I didn't know how she done it. Then she made milk appear from nowhere. Wow, look at that milk! And finally, she made crispy cakes in mere seconds. It was magic. Catherine pulled it off. The class had no idea she was a magician. We totally got them, and they loved it. <laughs> See you next week, but remember, if your teacher suddenly starts working wonders, you may need to shout, Help! My supply teacher is magic! <laughs>